And we will leave you with a... I, I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live! Yo, what's up, everybody? First Dynamic Live. We're going to be unboxing some stuff. Um, we're still waiting for Cerebro to come through. We're going to talk a little bit about toy photography and stuff. But for now, while we wait for him, let's go ahead and get into this bad boy right here, man. But first, let me go ahead and see who's in the chat. Yo, we got Omar V. What's up, Omar? Uh, let me know if I sound okay, guys. I was having a little bit of uh, audio issues before I started, so if anybody can get in there and let me know how I sound before we start getting into this. But as I was saying, we're going to wait for Deep for a little bit. He should be here pretty shortly. He's going to be unboxing some cool shit, too. Yo, my boy Omar. <laughs> What's up, Omar? Um, but yeah, uh, we'll see. How do I sound, man? Do I sound good? I mean, I was having a little bit of audio issues before I started the live, so I wasn't sure if I sound too loud. You know, we'll see how it goes. But, um, yeah, we're going to be unboxing this guy right here. I actually waited for a while. I've had this guy for a minute, I think, um, since. Uh... Oh, appreciate it, bro. <laughs> It's a uh, it's a pretty bootleg setup if I'm being completely honest, but we're working with it. That's what we got. It's a little angled, but that's what we got for it right now. That sounds like I don't I don't know, man. I think it's the mic. It does sound a little bit funny. Uh, I was messing with it a bit, but I mean it is what it is. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and start getting into this right here. Let's see how it goes. Gonna start unboxing this bad boy. That's what we're here for, right? So let's get it straight into it. All right. A little bit of a messy setup, but we'll work with it. As I was saying, I had this one for a minute. I was actually waiting to unbox it on the live. So I was trying not to, you know, mess too much with it and stuff like that. But here it is. Let's see how this goes. Oh, damn, man. This is my first hot toy, so I'm pretty nervous about messing with it too much right here. So let's see. Got to get a little sip of my beer for now. All right. You know, this, this is a... It's a little first live, so we'll see how it goes. It's not too bad. Okay. Here we go, guys. Never opened one of these before, so. I'm definitely excited about this. All right, how are we going to do this? Let me go ahead and try to undo this shit real quick. All right. There goes the second layer. God damn, this thing has so many damn boxes. Oh, shit. Okay. This is pretty nice. I don't know if you guys can see, but it has this little, like, padding on it. Damn, man. This is super nice. All right. Let's see how it goes. My dumbass thought it was going to be darker by 7, but it turns out the sun says it's at 7.30 over here in SD. So... But let me know how it looks, man. If it looks too dark, if it looks a little bright, just let me know how we're doing. But, yeah, this is it. I'm a little nervous, not going to lie, man. This thing is mad nice. It looks okay. Got a little tab right here with, like, a few things. I can't read that shit. You guys can see that. I don't know what the fuck that says in a whole other language, but damn man. So many, so many padding thingies right here. This is sick though. Straight into unboxing this shit. No wasting no time. Maybe I should take this piece off first. Let me know in the comments if you guys have hot toys, man. How do you guys usually go about unboxing these things? Like is it normal to have this many damn 
you know, little tabs and stuff. It's pretty cool, though. I really like the presentation. Yo, I think we got Cerebro here. Let me bring him in. Yo, D, what's up? Yo, what's good, bro? I was sitting here, here, I'm like, yo, Rick. Yo, Rick. <laughs> I saw you, bro. You're a hell of a way, man. I'm like, shit. <laughs> Yo, we got Marvelous Nick. Yo, it's been a minute since I talked to Nick, bro. My guy's MIA, but back in the good old days, I used to message him all the time. He has a few hot toys, bro. Oh, man. My shit. Yeah. Oh, my shit was out of focus. What's up, Nick? What's good? Yo, you're... Go ahead. What's going on? What's going on? Just chilling right here, bro. Already got a head start on you right here. You open the little. <laughs> that motherfucker Yo. Little, bro. <laughs> Your camera looks nice, like though, him. bro. I don't like the way he's looking at me right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Obi-Wan, motherfucker. <laughs> Yo, this thing, I'm so scared to even touch it, bro. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> like, <laughs> I messed up, boy. This what are you opening over, today? This is where the magic happens, y'all, right here. You see? Look at all the... <laughs> this is where all the magic happens. You can see the stains. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Yo, Andy's Pandies. What's up, bro? Yo, What's appreciate good, you, Andy. Yo. Let me see. Let's man. see. So we also have a few topics we want to talk about today, right, Deep? A few things about toy photography and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let me try to get this guy out first, though. I see how this shit goes. I got this motherfucker. Yo, that shit's dope. How do I sound, bro? Do I sound funny? No, you sound good. You sound yeah, right. for sure. You using the you using the other mic, right? Yeah, yeah. I see you got the mic around. Here. Yeah, yeah. yeah the I'm mic. using the other mic. Cause... The AirPods. Is, the AirPods is what uh, you sound crazy on here. Do I sound crazy? Nah, you sound good, bro. At least to me. I'm using these damn AirPods. Sometimes. Damn. We got the Inquisitor's hologram right here. Let me know how that shit looks, bro. How do you, can you, can you oh, guys see it okay? Shit. Wait, this dude pops out of where? Like, he holds them in his hand type shit? Yeah, dude, it's like a hologram, like, right here. Dude, I have, like, hold on, my bad. Let me see if I can try to get him. I don't know if you guys are seeing him yeah. pretty good, but, dude, this shit, I can think, like, this guy has so much stuff that not, you can also use with six-inch figures for toy photography. I have a bunch of ideas of just using a bunch of little accessories that he has. With some good lighting going through that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a, All right, let me try to get this guy. I don't know. Is this like a... Bro, am I, I, the, need... only one who, am I the only one who hates when they put tape on a clamshell? Bro, I hate that shit too because it's like I try to undo it without cutting it sometimes. And that shit just keeps sticking every time I try to move it. All right. That's Gotta focus here. Right Trying to get this guy out. All right. Focus. Oh, Does it? Really okay, this whole this. shit comes out. So hopefully today, I go through this shit without breaking anything. You know what I'm saying? Dude, I'm like super scared to like get this guy out at all. Uh, oh, let's yeah, see. Man. No yeah, fear, baby. No fear. Oh, shit. Okay. Then we got the first head. Well, the side head. Oh, that shit got tape on it. But yeah, um, we're going to talk about a few things, you know, just kind of like some general stuff we've been seeing on Instagram and shit. Kind of like a uh, hand posing and just kind of like some other stuff we've seen, right, Deep? Yeah. Like, ooh, hand posing. So that's the when first like, right there. Uh, let me move better. Can you guys see that? There you go. So that's the regular oh, head scope right shit. there. Damn. 
That shit, shit looks mad it's nice. It's about the size bro. of a regular 16 jacket. <laughs> <laughs> For it's about real, the size of it's sick. Hey, yo, no diddy, no diddy. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's check out the, let's check no out the chat. Who else we got in here? <laughs> oh, shit, we got Cap Lips. What's up, Cap Lips? Appreciate you stopping by, bro. What's up, Cap Lips? We got Will Flow. What's up, yo, Will? Flo? Will. Did I miss anybody else? No, no, I think we're, we're pretty caught up. Yo, so let me go ahead. Uh, Marvelous Nick says to watch uh, watch the tusk on the front of the helmet, notorious for breaking on one sex. Oh, shit. All right, good looking, bro. Ah, now you made me more nervous because I just, I just ripped this shit like right off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Bro, I'm scared to break right, the break. Sure. Top, top of the knee cap don't want to bend. Oh, like that. Yeah, the, the texture on this guy feels crazy. Okay. So, what's up, Nick? They usually just pull these motherfuckers out. Like, you just kind of like fucking manhandle it, or how, how do we do this? <laughs> <laughs> Freestyle it. Because, dude, I, I, dude, I'm going to cry if this shit gets. Any kind of damage. Don't manhandle it, bro. That's how I break all my shit. <laughs> yeah, so, but, like I was saying, we, we wanted to talk a little bit about just general kind of, like, you know, how shit that we see on Instagram, bro, and one of those things that I've always kind of liked to talk about is hand posing, right? Like, what do we think about it? I want to I hear from the chat as well. Like, anything I ask Deep, I want to hear from you guys as well. So, like, what's your opinion on hand posing, Deep? Like, what do you think about that shit? I mean, I guess like, hmm, like what what I think about it, I use it, you know. What I'm saying? <laughs> so, but I guess from like other people's perspective, it's like a, it's like a easy way to to get um, motion on your on your Instagram, probably, which I, you know, what I'm saying. Uh, how could I put it? Which I did, like, I showed that, you know what I'm saying? I showed, like, um, how could I explain it? I'm like a, I'm like a living proof of that. <laughs> that is a way to get motion on Instagram, bro. And, and, and if you're, especially if you're, like, consistent with it, you know what I'm saying? Other than doing, other than doing a uh, photography. No, I feel you. Like I got, I got nothing against hand poses, bro. Like you said, like I've always told you, bro. Your shit is dope. I always appreciate your, you know, your shooting. Your pose is always on point. I've told you, like straight out, that your shit is always rocking. But um, I guess my idea behind it is that it's like i got nothing against hand pose like that shit is cool but when you only do hand posing that's where i'm just like it's kind of crazy to see how much like interaction they get compared to people that do like full setups you know like that shit is just kind of um uh, interesting to see i guess is the word like what do you think like, the instagram prefers that shit like what's the what's the idea behind that because look what you're doing right now you got a point. <laughs> so it's relatable, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you take a yeah. picture out the package, what's the first thing you're doing? You hold it in your hand. You know what I mean? Yeah, so you so you think it, it like it like talks to people in the way that like people feel a little more kind of like, well, oh, I can do that shit too, rather than having to do all this kind of hard work and try to build this setup that you would you know almost like a Hollywood movie type of shit. I mean, I try to um well now on I try to do both. You know what I'm saying? But lately mm -hmm. I've been doing mostly hand posing because it's, it's easier for me to just post and then go. You know what I mean? Post something on Instagram and then be out. Instead of like photography, I got to, you know what I'm saying? It, this setting up is takes hours most of the time, at least at least an hour or two to set up. And then then you got to, you got to, it takes another few probably hours to make sure you get the satisfaction out of the what you're taking a, like a picture of so like if you got an idea in your head you you hoping you execute it on camera just like how you visualize it in your head yeah yeah and that shit takes time bro 
So you think it also has to do with the whole idea of like time? Like some people just want to be able to like, because there's nothing wrong with enjoying the hobby. Like on a, you know, some people have limited time, you know, you got jobs, you know, you got family, shit like that, you know. And some people just, you know, need to take a quick pick, you know, show that like, you know, they got this fix. So, but at the same time, kind of cutting myself off, do you think it has to do with like the hype? of it like do we want to put out this figure first because i just got that shit like you just got that donatello do you yeah. think you have kind of this sense of urgency to be the first to pump a picture out um back in the days i did but now like like when i first got on when i first started my my instagram i was like I was like, yeah, I gotta find a way how to how to get these figures first, so I could post them first and shit like that. But now it's like, uh, I don't care, you know what I'm saying? I'll get this shit later. <laughs> I don't mind being late, you know what I'm saying? Now I don't mind being late at all. But yeah, but and at the same time, at the same time, um, get a figure like, you know, like imports, right? Mm-hmm. When I started, when I started buying imports from Japan and all that, and I stopped going to retail, like stopped buying imports from retailers out here, all the influence that was on imports disappeared. Like there was no more influence for me for when it came to import imports, or like because I was getting them early, I was getting them as fast as the people as the influencers. So I'm like, wow, I already made my own opinion. I don't need to see nobody else's opinion. And that's how I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I I get you. Like the idea of like, at first, it was kind of like the sense of trying to pump them out because you were excited about it. But now that you see that like all these people are like, you're getting around the same time. There's no real urgency to try to prove that you have it type of thing. Bro, I, I feel like you will still get the same love. You know what I'm saying? Whether you get it late or early, bro, I feel like you're going to still get the same love. You know what I'm saying? If you already had yeah, that traction, yeah. you're already going to... That's, that's the traction you're going to get when, when you get it. I've seen people the, post shit late as fuck and then get more traction than people who posted it early. You know what I mean? Yeah, that that's the crazy thing, too. It's like the, the amount of traction that you see these hand posers get is you wouldn't expect it right like five years ago you know when you're doing toy photography you wouldn't see that shit i wonder what shift happened in between where we started getting more hand posing to be more popular than even people doing like badass setups man you know and and i get it because some of those poses are great and some of those poses you can't really get them without a stand you know i mean with like like with the stand, I mean, you can't put them in a stand, and it's just like physics wise, it's not possible to get that pose without doing Photoshop, right? Yeah, yeah. so I but, guess, mm-hmm. but some people are magicians <laughs> when it comes to, um, I say, like when it comes to photography, I, there are some magicians out there that do it without no, <laughs> that do it uh, tangible, you know what I'm saying. It's oh just, yeah, like it's the, just all in the angles, you know what I'm saying? Do you like stands or like people who use the the fish? Is it fishing strings? I think that's what you call them. Like where they use the strings and you like they're so thin you can't really see them. Those are yeah. crazy too. And like yeah, yeah. people people got really like ways of doing that shit. But it's just kind of you know I don't know. It's just interesting shit I think about. It's like you see people doing all this kind of like hard work compared. I don't want to say it's not hard work to pose a figure because sometimes it is fucking hard work. But if we're realistically speaking, it's definitely less time to do a yeah. hand pose than to set up a whole shot. So let's see what the what the chat is saying. Cap this, so let's see. It says, I see hand posing like a lot of stuff in this hobby. If it's good, then I don't mind it. I use it for inspiration and pics, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Like I said, like deep, you know, hand posing his. Posing is fucking great. I've seen a bunch of people whose posing is just like phenomenal, you know. But it also like, like you said, is I think it has to do a lot with like time, right? You you want to get something out not fast, but because you and your own time. That's like how much time you really have to play with your toys, type of thing. If that makes sense. Yeah, I see that. I see that. Now, getting 
getting like into that. another topic I wanted to talk about was the whole thing with the, like the hype versus art, right? We kind of touched a little bit on that too. Like at what point do you start letting the FOMO and the hype kind of take you over rather than like your love for the art, right? Like your love for like posting or taking pictures and shit. Uh, like you talking about now? Um, yeah, like I, I guess, like in general, man. Like, at what, like, how do you differentiate that shit? Because I even have fallen into that FOMO, bro, where I want to just pump that shit out fast, you know? Where I just want to be like, oh, f like I did that with the Mr. Freeze figure. I actually had that, you know, it was a while back, but I actually got that Mr. Freeze pretty early compared to other people, man. And I, even though the shot I thought was pretty great, I kind of did rush it a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, you know? Yeah. But it's it's almost like you gotta think about it, bro. Like, all right, let's say you know how many people have FOMO over that that Stitch figure. Remember the Revo Tech Stitch, and look, look what's happening. They they remaking it, or like Deku. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's say if you had a FOMO of not getting Deku before, and now you got a chance to get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So mm -hmm. I don't know. Ever since like. Uh, FOMO is not, it, it depends, bro. It depends. Like, not for me, FOMO now would be like a third party figure because third party figures, you don't, they might not even remake them again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you get that, you get that feeling like, oh shit, they might not ever do this shit again. This is probably what a one off because that's an unlicensed figure or whatever. Right, but but like, but shit made by official by official company, man. This this they will always remake it. Look like trunks. I had to get trunks because I feel like, damn, it might be a long time before they make trunks again. The the new trunks, and now they doing the reissue, which I want the reissue now because the first version had many problems and shit. So now, I'm having, now I'm having FOMO over the reissue. <laughs> what, dude, I feel the same because that my trunks, at least, it wasn't too bad. That was a good thing. I was talking to Omar about that. My trunks wasn't too bad. Like, I think the worst I had was like a loose hip, but other people yeah. I heard were doing like their arm was falling off and shit, and they had the loose hips, and it was just an overall mess. But I personally don't have. FOMO for the trunks, but I feel you in the way where you feel like, what the fuck? Like, dude, I bought this shit because I thought, like, you know, you guys were going to bring it out like with the greatest quality you could, and now you're telling me you're doing a reissue and you fix the issues, like... And, and that is also a sense of FOMO, because you're like, do I want to keep the quote-unquote bad quality, bad QC one, or do you want to go ahead and, like, drop another, what was it, 60 bucks? To get the yeah. get the new trunks, so Shit. I think it's is it sixty on? Well, I would, I don't even know if the one on Big Bag Toy Store right now is is the is the reissue because that's the other thing. Like, I don't want to buy it and then it's the old version. You know what I'm saying? I already know what mm -hmm. I already because the reissue has a different sticker on the packaging from the oh shit okay from the old one. So now I'm like, now I'm scared. Like, if I if I'm gonna buy it, I I gotta get it off a of, uh, off of eBay or something. Because at least on eBay, you see the packaging. They show you the packaging. They show you the sticker and all that. But I guess the question is, does Big Bad like are they gonna purposely like? push out their old stock before they start pushing out the knowing because they, they have to know man right they're like kind of involved in the community or whatever they have to know about that shit oh man i don't even know <laughs> i don't know how they <laughs> to tell you the truth i don't know like if they want to get rid of that stock they probably will you know what i mean <laughs> that sounds shitty as fuck but omar is saying here that figure grill yeah, he says here figure real listed specifically as a reissue, but it's sold out. Now you see Damn. that I I think BBTS is doing the same though, right? They're they're putting it as a reissue, or am I wrong with that? On uh, on Big Bad? Yeah. No, nah, they don't put it. They don't. It just says trunks, like you know what I'm saying. It just says oh, the name of the figure and all that. They 
that's they should definitely do what you know figure girl did here man they should put up their issue because that would sell but then again it kind of falls back because they don't care bro they're trying to get rid of their old stock right because that probably no one's going to want to buy that shit anymore yeah but you know i get but but big bad has a good um from what i heard they have a good customer service so i guess if you like yo this is not the real issue i don't want this they'll probably give you your money back I'll let you I mean, figure. as far as that, like I've had a really good experience with Big Bad. They've always taken care of me. But the thing is, mostly when shit comes like damage, right? Like, man, talking, I want to talk to you about that shit. Talking about reissues. That fucking Berserk figure. We were talking about it earlier, right? This week. Mm -hmm. Fucking guts. That's my <laughs> most hated figure currently displayed in my collection. Trust and me, I'll tell you why. <laughs> the fact that that thing can't even hold their fucking sword is fucking ridiculous and dumb as hell. Like, uh, it's like it's it's a it's a franchise, you know, an IP that I love, and the fact that it's such an ass figure sucks, dude. And like, <laughs> and now I think they're reissuing that one as well, right? Um, I don't know. If they did they reissue it? Yeah, I think they said they were doing a reissue because, man, to me, that everybody was saying that line was dead, right? Like the Berserk line was dead. It was over. It was screwed. Yeah. But then that new, uh, you know, full armor guts with the new Berserker armor, that one apparently they changed the pegs to the to the ball. The ball, what is it called? Like peg and ball or whatever. Like pretty much instead of it just being a peg like this one that can't yeah. even hold this damn sword, they actually put like a ball joint at the end. And it's supposed to be like a way better quality, right? But the fact is, what the hell is wrong with Bandai doing this crap and people just taking it, bro? Like, how are you gonna drop a, a you know a figure first, have it be shit quality, and then expect us to buy the reissue just because it's meant to actually fix all the issues you had? And going back to BBTS, when I first got that figure, dude, that thing had a frozen solid knee. Like, it was glued. I don't know what the hell happened in the factory. Someone, like, super glued the fucking knee. And I had to go back to BBTS and tell them, like, yo, what the fuck? This shit is, like, super glued. And they were cool enough to, like, send me another one, right? As soon as I got the second one, the fucking packaging in the back, you know, like, they had, not the packaging, sorry, like, the, the little, like, port for the, for the, um, for the, like, the bow, the crossbow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, the, yeah. that shit completely snapped off. Yeah, damn. Bro, I barely touched it, dude. I barely fucking touched it. That shit snapped off as soon as I touched it. And then on top of that, a bunch of its hands, the peg hole was so small, dude. I had to grab a fucking screwdriver and start scratching away fucking plastic so that the hands would fit. Damn. I kind of <laughs> like what I, the fuck? I, you know, like I'm pissed off about because that's, like, one of my favorite uh, mangas and shit. So I was kind of pissed off with Guts, man. And then the, the other the other thing that pissed me off was I had another one pre-ordered. So it's like, and I, 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 I didn't cancel it. And I forgot. I completely forgot about the second one. So now I got, a, now I got two fucked up <laughs> Guts sitting in my fucking... <laughs> In my collection now. Wait, you, they actually, where'd you get them through though? Through BBTS also? Um, one I got it through Amazon, and then uh, the first one I got it through BBTS, and then the second one I got it through Amazon. Because did your came. BBTS one already ship? Yeah, that was the first one I got. Oh, and I modified, but I modified that one. Okay. So like the lace, like now, like before. On the old, on the, on the beat, like the first one. So mm -hmm. since I modified the legs, you know how I got the armor that comes up to here. And so yeah, the yeah, leg yeah. will probably go like this far. Now the leg could go, now he could do probably like a split or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit. Okay. That's dope. Yeah. And, yeah, then and I, I, I kind of modified like the, the waist area too. So he could, so he could bend. So his ab crunch is a lot more. But I think I think that Gus has way too much going on, too. Mm -hmm. You know, like with the pouches, and then like the the store, like the the little knife you could plug in and shit like that. It, it has way too much going on, bro. 
that's why I think the the fully armored one it doesn't have that much going on. So that's why that's why you don't got to worry about nothing when you articulate in that. You don't got to worry about the pieces falling off and shit like that. If you look at yeah. my reel, I, <laughs> in my reel, I don't have the pouches on my guts. And I'm like, yo, I was like, I don't know where my pouches are at. They, they on the floor somewhere. Because <laughs> all them shits popped off, you know what I'm saying? While I was, um, <laughs> while I was posing them up for the, for the reel or whatever. Yeah, dude, that, that thing was fucking horrible. Like, I hear, let me go ahead and read the chat real quick. Yeah, you know, Nick says here, you know, best manga of all time, which is true. Well, eh, I still I still love Dragon Ball, man. I'll, I'll, I'll die on that hill. But, yeah, it is one of the best manga of all time for sure. And SHF uh, made its worst fig in years. Yep, mm-hmm. it's true. They, like, it was like... How do you fucking kill it with Chainsaw Man, which is like, you know, it, it's a loved manga, you know, but it's like a pretty new anime. And this thing has been loved for years and they fuck it up completely. I don't know what to tell you. Bro, imagine, imagine like their Dragon Ball figures, right? Imagine their Dragon Ball figures, their Berserk figures all had that, that soft rubber plastic, like the Chainsaw Man joints do you know how crazy people would go with those figures bro dude articulation that, wise yeah dude like i don't know why they don't do that on all their figs that thing is fucking insane yeah it is a little rubbery and i don't know how well it might stand the you know time like you know in a few years or the shit will be falling apart but mm-hmm. if they were to introduce that shit like that would be for a 4.0. Like, that would be the way to go. Like, just the waist area. But then again, also, you kind of have to make the, like, kind of like the waist, you know, area, the crotch area kind of loose. Because that's what the, the Chainsaw Man is. It, he, he has a pretty loose waist area, if you look at it. Like, there's nothing holding it in place. No, but you know what I hate the most about the Berserk figures? It's the fucking feet, bro. Dude. Why they feet are so flat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and and they're so, so like gummy. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know how the fuck they. Oh man, they screwed up so bad. But yeah, getting back to this Vader guys, I'm fucking scared to even move this guy. This this <laughs> arm right here, is kind of like frozen solid, and I'm scared to even bend it because like this one right here. I'll show you guys real quick. This one's bending just fine, right? Ooh, yeah. there was a pop there. I'm scared, is boys. Like a, is that like a cloth? <laughs> Dude, so this shit's pretty fucking awesome. This thing right here, it feels like pleather, but like a puffy pleather, if that makes sense. Like it's almost like they put padding in there. It it feels crazy, man. For like a like I don't know if all hot toys feels this way. Uh, reminding you guys is my first hot toys. So it's like me kind of going through the motions here. This thing feels crazy cool though. The only thing that's kind of bothering me right now is that the waist. It's kind of like, I mean, sorry, not the waist, the uh, wrist. It's like a solid piece, which is cool, I guess, to keep like the aesthetic of the glove, but it is what it is, right? So we're still messing with this. How you liking how you liking that Donatello? That's just sick. It's straight. I didn't, I still gotta put I still gotta put the other stuff on it. I wanted to check out Splinter real quick. But... All right, go for it. Hold, yeah. up, hold up, y'all. Hold up, oh, okay. Okay, guys. I figured it out. Holy shit. So this thing was, the bicep was twisted inward. So I don't know who the fuck packaged my shit, but they're trying to make my shit break, bro, because that shit was being bent the wrong way. Sorry, I'm not showing it on camera. So this guy thing was bent in like that, and I was trying to yeah. twist it this way. Oh, fuck yeah. it. I'm still getting used to the camera that way, but it's actually supposed to bend this way. So we're good. We're good. Do oh, you ever fuck. get scared like that with, with your mask goes? I'm I'm gonna sound crazy, bro. <laughs> I just pop them motherfuckers, bro. Because like at the end of the day, I'm gonna be playing with it, right? That's what I do. I'm a photographer. I wanna push these things to the limit. So people are always saying, like, and I get it, they're right. Don't get me wrong. They're like, oh, domestics, you know, as soon as they're out of the box, you know, you play with them, you're not scared, you just start fucking around with them. Great stuff. I don't feel that way just because. Any figure except for this thing right here, because this is a hot toy, so I'm pretty nervous about it. But SHF, like my Dragon Ball stuff, maybe Mayfix. I was a little concerned at first, but SHF, like 
you know, Yamaguchi, you know, Rebel Tech, anything like that, dude, I just fucking go to town. Even in Mexico, bro. I just go to town with that shit. Unless I start seeing online that it's having issues. Like that one time we had that uh the Conan and the Conan's yeah. like fucking bicep was like unable to fucking twist. Dude, I was fucking twisting that thing so hard trying to pop it at first. And when I started seeing online that people were breaking that shit, I was like, nope, I'm gonna chill out. <laughs> That's why I I never tw- like on that on that on that Conan because the, the first one was good. But mm-hmm. that second one, that second Conan. I don't know how the fuck they fucked up on that, bro. It's like, I made the figure before. How y'all fucking up on it now? I don't know, dude. I guess you were supposed to... Because you did the thing, right? You did the popping off the bicep? You no, popped it off? Popped, you... I never popped it off or nothing. I just oh, let not? I don't remember who I was talking to. That They did the pop and they fixed... It might have been Boncho. Boncho did that shit, bro. He popped that shit off and he fixed it. But I was too scared to do it. But guys, look at the detail on the fucking Damage Boys box. Awesome. But like, but like figures that like Mezco figures, right? When they have the mm-hmm. cloth all over, all over the figure, do you ever get scared? Like you are gonna bend the arm the wrong way <laughs> because you don't know like if the elbow is facing in. You know what I'm saying? Because the hand could be the hand could be like this, but the elbow could be like, you know what I'm saying? Like the inner elbow could be going this way. And the hand is like this. So you're thinking it's going to bend up when it really has to bend this way. If you get what I mean? No, no, I feel you. Um, and if you that, saw shit, what I... that shit could snap the figure. Like, that could <laughs> snap the arm right there. Yeah, dude. If, if you saw what I just did right now. So I did exactly what I do with my mascots. I did with this beta right now. When I feel that it's a little dangerous. So what I like to do, I'm pretty sure you've noticed. Like, you kind of fill out the elbow joint type of shit. Yeah. And you can kind of feel because, you know, uh, we've been collecting for a while, bro. And you you can kind of feel how an elbow joint feels, right? You can tell kind of, you can picture in your head kind of everything, right? So you, I kind of just feel it through the thing and bend it slowly, slowly until it feels like it's actually giving in and it feels like it's the right way. So kind of like how this Vader, I was trying to force it, but you can feel the resistance, right? Kind of how I was trying to force it to go this way. I was like, nope, mm-hmm. that don't feel right. And I was like, yo, that shit feels like it's like frozen. But then you start to like kind of fuck with it and then you start to feel where it's like you can even feel the back of the elbow kind of pushing out you know yeah that's why i feel like i'm crazy bro because i just be going for it i'll be like ah. <laughs> if you oh there you go my bad guys i, I know... had the camera all wrong the whole time <laughs> when you. i got when i got figma when i got figma uh what's his name denji mm-hmm. from chainsaw man when i got yo i i just went straight for it and popped his arm blah Oh, I didn't even know. I didn't even know which way the elbow, like the ball joint in the elbow, was facing, and I just went for it and snapped the shit. For Figma? Yeah, from Figma. Oh, and that shit snapped, dude. Usually Figma is pretty good with like, like the elbow or like the whole joint popping off before you even break it. At least with my experience. Nah, man. I I just went for it and I just snapped his elbow. Flah. Now his shit is like dangling now. Fuck, oh, man. Head. They went hard with his head. I ain't gonna lie. They put the magnet. Yo. In. Oh, they put a magnet in that shit? Yeah. Yeah, that's third party for you. Do it. Holy Do it. shit. Do it. That shit, Sit, that down, shit Sit down, son. Sit down, <laughs> son. Sit your bitch ass down. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. If anybody owns a Hot Toys, do you know how to fucking pop off the head? Because I'm kind of tripping out here trying to put the cape on him. And I'm scared to pop his head off. Let me see. I have a fuck. I don't even know if I want to use my knife. Yeah, well, I got the knife. You know what I'm saying? Oh fuck! <gasps> Did I just break this shit, guys? I think I just broke this shit on live. Let's see. Ain't no way. Oh no, we're good. We're good. These things are intact. Okay. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> Yo, if you guys could see this better in person, this shit is mad nice, bro. Like this thing is beautiful. All right, I don't even know where I'm gonna put him, bro. Put the, I just bought this shit. Put the no face space. In the camera, dog. Put the face in the hey. camera, dog. All right, let let's get into a little more hot topic that me and you wanted to talk about, deep right? And that's what we saw. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't too long ago, but we saw pretty much something where people try to claim mods for themselves that you need to give them credits when you mod a figure. Now tell Ooh. me, how do you feel about that, D? Tell me about that, bro. <laughs> 
God damn, we're going into this now. All right. We're going, bro. We're already an hour in. We're gonna go into it. We need, we need, we need to put it out there. I mean, our mods. I feel like, I feel like mods should be for everyone. You know what I'm saying? To enjoy their figures. You know what I'm saying? I will understand. Like, all right, you could. You know what I'm saying? Some people claim a mod or whatever, or like. But like. I feel like they should be for everyone to enjoy the figure. Like, yo, do this mod so you, like, people love our. If if I'm not mistaken, people love the articulation and figures, right? That's why that's the whole point of it being called an extra figure. So it's like, if a mod is giving it more articulation, why not? Um, why not give it to the world? You know what I mean? I can understand. Because claiming a mod is crazy to me. It is crazy to me, bro. I can understand like a custom a customization. Like if I customize this this let's say if, if I customize this damn splinter to, to look just like this and somebody else did it, all right, yeah, I'm gonna claim that because I'm like, bro, you did the exact same shit I did. <laughs> right. But it was a mod to make his elbow go backwards. And, and forwards and backwards and around and around. I'm not gonna claim that shit. I'm gonna just show it so other people can do it too and enjoy it, bro. So, but like, mm-hmm. like, um, uh, what was that one situation? Like, uh, J Fix situation, right? Right. They went. They went at J Fix for the Mando articulation or or leg mod or whatever. And I feel right. like he don't got to give credit for that because let's say if, if a thousand people do the mod, so you're going to go after 999 other people for not giving you credit if they do the mod. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I feel like he don't got to give credit for a mod, bro. He did it to enjoy his figure, bro. And that's how I feel. You're, you're not wrong, man. See, you, I agree with you 100%. And the other thing is, look, there's this thing in nature where two animals can kind of have evolution to the same kind of adaptation. So that's what they call it, right? They adapt the same way in different areas. And I might sound crazy. Stay with me. But the same idea can come with mods, man. Somebody can come up with the same idea with the same mod without even ever looking at your stuff. Yeah. You see what I mean? Like, if, like in that cap, bro, I remember, I can't remember exactly who, but the whole like Dremeling and t- the ultimate cap I'm talking about from Marvel Legends, Dremeling the, the chest or whatever. Mm-hmm. We all know who have that figure that that app crunch, that diaphragm, like, you know, the crunch on that figure is complete ass. That shit don't work. If I thought about Dremeling that thing, but somebody else did it before me. Or if I thought about it and I don't even follow that person and I decided to Dremel it, I'm not going to be here and claim that mod for myself, man. I know a million people, maybe a hundred people, even if it's two people that thought the same thing, they still thought about the same thing. Yeah. It's not for you to kind of like force people to shout you out, man. Some people just don't fuck with you. And that's the truth. You can be like the create uh, the creator of something they won't shout you out. now i'm not saying you're not supposed to claim it because it's different with pictures right picture it is your art you know like you said a custom it is your art it, it's that one's really hard to really converge on the same stuff but with a modification it's like people are fucking around with this figure they're messing around with it they're playing with it they have the same issues as you mm-hmm. so to go on instagram and attack somebody saying that they're not giving credit to a certain person because they came up with it first quotation marks the only thing they came up with is that they recorded it first that's it bro i'm gonna put it to you like this right <clears throat> so one time i did um when i got sent no spider-man right uh-huh. I, when i got when i first got the send no spider-man with the statue you know with that with that big bear statue or whatever I yeah. did a pose, right? And then when I did the pose, um, somebody else I follow said something to me, and I was like, "All right, I'll give you a shout out." And I said it. I said the the pose was inspired by them. You know, 
you know how stupid I felt because so many people did that same pose before that person, and now I'm giving this person credit for that bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it, Omar. Oh. <laughs> Love it. Stop stealing memes too. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. you're saying deep, I bet I interrupt you. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad right there, bro. Yeah, people should have still memes for themselves. Bro. Oh man, that's that's yeah, kind of funny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, I felt stupid because so many people did that pose like before them. You know, what I mean? before before that person that I. I had, I felt like I had to give that credit to, you know what I'm saying? Right. But, but that's good on you, bro, because you saw it from them and it's, it's almost like the idea of like paying it forward, right? You were, you, you did a good deed. You gave them credit because that's where you thought it came from. Now, if that person was doing some but shady that was, shit, that's on, on them. That, I gave them credit because they came at me for the credit. Oh, okay, okay. I, 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 that shit flew over my head. Didn't catch that. My bad, bro. Yeah, that's that's that. Don't come at, don't come at people sideways, bro. But the, but the crazy thing is, nah, they didn't come at me sideways. But it was like kind of pointed it out, like, oh, um, they was like, oh, this this pose looks familiar or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Saying that they did it first, but the crazy, like, I felt bad because I felt stupid because so many people did the pose way before that person. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? Why? I don't know. The the whole like, I just feel like everybody's just this is a this is a toy community, bro. People should just enjoy their toys, bro. Unless they unless they because modify. Look, if you want to if you want credit for modifications, then you got to give credit to all the customizers out there who who been doing modifications and who been doing customizations way before everybody else who just gets a regular figure and don't customize it or modify it at all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So those those are the people who really deserve the credit at the end of the day because they've yeah, been like, doing it way before us. So and, my and, it's, and it's just like, it's wild, bro. Like, like not trying to be a dick or anything or, you know, disrespecting, but it's wild to go out of your way to comment on someone's picture, comment on someone's reel, or, you know, message somebody about a mod, like, yo, you, well, you didn't do that shit first. It's like, bro, it's a mod. Like, what if I don't even know who you are? You're coming here out of the blue and shit. The fuck are you? Like, what? what? Like, you know, like, but then again, look, look at, like, right here, what's your, uh, sorry, what Cap Lives said. He said, I give credit to the person if I got the idea from them. But not everybody does that, Cap. And the truth is, it sounds messed up, but you can't prove that. You can't prove shit. The same way when people, you know, take ideas for your pictures or like kind of like copy your picture, I'm not going to go out of my way and comment and be like, yo, you stole my shit because I can't prove it and it's not worth it. You look like the clown. Am I tripping? <laughs> I mean, but it's because... Should I get? Should I take claim for? Yeah, like I, I, I kind of get what you mean because it's like, should I take? Should I claim my style of lighting? Because I'd be saying that around too, but I don't say my, like. I feel like if if you really if you truly a master of your art, you shouldn't even have to speak on it because if everybody's using it, you know what I mean. That should make you proud, actually. Exactly, bro. And another thing, if if you're really, like you said, the, the master of your craft, no one's going to be able to do it as good as you. You only get pissed when someone does it better than you. And that's the truth, bro. That's probably why people get mad, bro. Because if you're really like that great and people are stealing your shit, you should be like, hey, you're, you're inspiring people, bro. And on top of that, they're not going to be able to top your pick. Yeah. That's just that's just how it is, you know, and, and let them try. It's cool. But, like, people, like, like we're going back to the mods and shit. Like, it's just wild, man. So you're telling me that, like you said, I can't mod my figures now and post a picture of it without having to put you in the <laughs> comments or in the fucking description? What the hell? Like, 
Hey guys, I got it from this person. You know. <laughs> and it's like, what if you're like, you like do it too? You know, like exactly. What if I got it from some guy who got it from another guy who got it from another guy? And it just uh -huh. came down to me. And that guy didn't give credit. How how am I supposed to 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 know that it was that person? And then that person comes out of nowhere out of the fucking blue into my comments being like, hey, yo, you you fucking thief or whatever. Like I mean, <clears throat> look, I see it like this, right? Let's say if you if you did a mod, right? And then I did the same mod right after, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm not claiming it. But at the same time, I'm not giving you credit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not claiming it either. So why should I go down for not giving you credit? If I'm not even claiming the mod, I'm just showing how to do the mod so other people could do it too, to make their figure better. That's true. And if anything, you're giving them promotion, bro. Because people are going to be like, oh, who did this shit? And if they want to claim that shit, go for it, bro. Who's going to call you out? The internet yeah, is so fast. But that's the other thing. Nobody cares, bro. Nobody that's knows, oh, who you got this mod from. They don't care. They just be like, oh, shit. They just cool. do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, 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 don't get me wrong, man. If your thing is only modifying, like, that's your Instagram, that's your art. You know, I get it, man. Like, it's cool. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's like, you're not going to catch everybody and saying it like as an like you know as an artist i i don't know if there's people out there copying my shit and if they are it's cool i'm not gonna waste my time going out of my way to try to catch you if somebody brings it up to me oh well man it's cool unless there's directly stealing your picture that's different right if someone's fucking stealing yeah. your picture directly and just posting it as the shit that's not cool and that's just obvious yeah, that's not cool. but if that's they're trying to cool. like you know so the whole modification thing i just think it's crazy. I'm going to say, bro, that shit's crazy. And it's whack to go out of your way to comment on somebody being like, yo, well, this person came out at first. You're not giving them credit. Like, if that's your homeboy, I get it, bro. But, like, you're just making your homeboy look bad. That's how I feel about it, man. That shit might be, you know, that might bother some people. Hey. And like you said, bro, the whole thing with JFix, JFix was not wrong on that shit, bro. That shit was a modification. Like he said, he never claimed it. I don't know why y'all tripping about coming up in here trying to like, you know, and the crazy fucking thing cause is, you know, stupid I, internet drama. You know. But I, like, I heard like, I seen some shit that they be like, oh, you always, you always come at people and when they don't give credit or but you know what i'm saying like i know jay figs right i haven't spoken yeah. to him so i don't know where we stand at but i haven't i haven't spoken to jay figs but if jay figs is coming at somebody he has a he's coming at it some he's coming at somebody for a good reason there ain't no he don't be bullshitting about it right so you think like it's almost like a like you know like he 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 don't look for the smoke, bro. And like you know, just and, not, not, and nobody does. Not just, no not just he's not, I'm not single. Not, not, we're not seeing Uh huh. He just doesn't do it for if he if he comes at somebody for something, he's just not. He's not doing it for no reason. Like, exactly, and that's what shit. I'm saying. Like, like we're not singling J Figs out. Just in general, in the toy community, bro. Nobody usually goes after somebody without being like. You know, come at first. You know, that's just how I feel, bro. I don't think anybody's gonna fight somebody on the damn internet for no reason. There are those weirdos, bro, that would just be talking shit. But I don't think anybody comes after anybody for no reason. And at the same time, I mean, it's not for me to decide whether the reason was good or not. Like I said, bro, like I just think trying to I don't know, I guess <laughs> like like Cap Liv said right here, bro. Trying to copyright a mod is fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I copyright my style that I read from Alex Richardson, so I'm watching y'all now. <laughs> Yo, Alex Richardson's lighting is crazy too. But then again, with him, bro, oh, yeah. if somebody comes and does pretty cool lighting like he does, is that considered stealing? Alex Richardson is a cool dude too, man. He's the reason I'm part of um, Blame Month. You know what I'm saying? He 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 invited me to be part of Blame Month. And I thank him from that because I never go I never go so hard for one character. 
and or I at least try to when that month comes around. Bro. Oh, dude, his pictures are they're great, bro. Yeah. But like, like I, I was saying, like, dude, I feel like I'm in a, I feel like I'm they out of my league, bro. The the people he got <laughs> for, for the people he got for Blame Month, I feel like they out of my league, bro. Dude, deep, you're, you're saying like I told you, bro. All those followers, all those picks you've done, bro. You earned those, bro. Don't don't sell your short, yourself short, bro. Your your art is dope. Your posing is on point. But you know, going past that, bro. Like the the idea. Well, I think I think we've said enough about the whole mod thing. I think we kind of came to agreement. I don't know what the chat thinks on the whole modification can I, thing. Can I ask you something? How do What's you up? feel like? How do you feel about toy beef in the or beef in the toy community? All right. This is gonna be my honest thing. <laughs> that shit's entertaining. It is. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I said it's entertaining, but it's dumb as hell. It's stupid, bro. You you would never catch me in no toy beef. At least I would like to think. I'm not gonna fucking fight you online, bro. Like it's not that serious. But when people are going at it, uh, dude, that's just that shit's entertaining. You're just like, why why are these guys going at it? Because Half of the shit that happens, bro, it's not even worth it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But yeah, I, I feel you. But sometimes it's like toy beef is stupid to me, but at the same time, bro, some people gotta be told to shut the fuck up, man. Because they be talking crazy, dog. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah. No, I yeah, hundred percent, bro. I get it. Like some people, mm. some people be talking out their ass for sure. <laughs> you know, they talk out they behind, bro. But I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. I never, I, I never gonna understand it, bro. If you ever see me in toy beef? You just tell me to shut the fuck up, bro. Because if, think... I'm, if I'm gonna get into toy beef, I might as well go back to the streets. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's a it's a funny take on that shit because like. Like you said, some people need to like chill out, bro. Like some people need to a reality check for sure, you know, touch grass type of shit. But at the same time, it's like, bro, the day you get physical over toys is the day you lost all your brain cells. Let's be honest. Is it that's the truth, bro? You lost all your brain cells if you get physical over toys. And it's like, yeah, dude, like you you're not gonna like people talking shit or whatever. People are gonna be like, Oh, you you look like a bitch or whatever, bro. All you gotta do is be you know, assertive, one comment, you know, say that shit like, hey, chill the fuck out. I got no issue with you. Calm down. And that's it. At least that's how I see it. Now, if they want to continue kind of coming at you, that's different. That's on them. But don't, they're toys, bro. I'm I'm a grown ass man holding a fucking expensive ass toy. Like, I think we're all kind of dumb here. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> you feel like we all dumb? <laughs> yeah, bro. We're all dumb for spending, but it makes us happy, right? We're all dumb for yeah. spending money on this shit. It's an escape. But it's but it's not dumb because it makes us happy, bro. That's the truth. You know? And that's it is what it is. Now, getting back to this figure, guys. So we've been talking fucking for like an hour already. I don't even fucking put the figure up in here. I'm scared to pop this shit off. Because I don't know how to pop the head off. Do any of you who own Hot Toys, like, leave it in the comments. How the fuck do I pop? Do I just, like, talking about being all tough and shit, me manhandling my figures? I'm not manhandling this shit. I don't know how to fucking pop this head off, dude. I, I feel like I'm putting too much force into it. I have no idea what, what I'm doing. But here we are. All right. <laughs> fuck, dude. Should I just go for it? I should have watched Bro, the review the before episode? I did this. What's up? Let me see the Hesco. All right, here. Damn. I don't know how. It dude, went crazy. And, dude, if it looks good on camera, imagine in person, bro. That shit looks great. But I'm so scared to pop the fucking head off, man. But on a side note, where we put the figure down, dude, look at this shit. <laughs> dude, it, it would be a toy photography to be excited about a base. You know how good yeah. you can... Sh oh, hold on, hold on. Yo, Nick. Can I trust you, bro? Do I just pull that motherfucker off? Really? <laughs> oh, it says pull from the base of the head. Pause. Okay. Okay. No diddy. No diddy, bro. You gotta say no diddy. It's not pause. <laughs> 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 
All right, all right, all right. Here we go. No noodles. God, dude, I'm so scared. Oh my god, I feel like I'm pulling too hard, bro. Nick, help me. I need, I need pointers, bro. Oh my, nah, dude. This shit is in there. Like, I'm so scared. I'm so scared, bro. You have no idea. I'm fucking scared. BGTS got a Evo helmet. Let me see. All right. Here we go again, boys. Oh, dude, I'm pulling this shit hard, bro. He said, what? Let's see what Nick Yo. Said. Angle it back and watch the tusk. Okay. Man, you got me fucking tripping. Yo, Yo Nayla is a... Dude, Dude. we talk a while right now. <laughs> he, said, <I'm> <laughs> he said heated. I can't heat. Yo, you got said Yo, what's up, Sedri? Thanks for checking in, bro. What's up? Appreciate you. I don't know about heating this thing up, bro. It's a hot toy. So I don't want to fuck this shit up. <laughs> Yo, Rick talking crazy right now, dog. He said, he said it's getting bad hard to pull this off. Man. Oh, I'm pulling this shit bad hard. <laughs> Dude, I'm pulling it hard. Pause, pause. <laughs> Boy, it's water. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't know, boys. I'm scared. <laughs> all right, all right. God, God, okay. What happened all right, you guys. Pull the hair and the whole fucking mess. Oh, holy oh. fuck! Oh. <laughs> Yo, you guys heard that shit? Hold the tusk. The tusk are good, boys. We're good. That shit was on there. I was not kidding, guys. Yo, this man yeah. out his own shit, huh? Dude. Yo, we good. We good, though. Holy fuck. Yo, my hands are sweating, guys. That shit was crazy. Whoa. Oh, All right. Did the cab shake? We good? <laughs> Got a little bit of cab shake in there, my bad boys. All right. All right. <laughs> Oh shit! Dude. <laughs> Nick yeah. got me, bro. He said he was over here sweaty too, bro. He was sweaty for me. I thought I was well. For real? I said, like, Where? "Where's Nick? Where's Nick?" He's like, he right here, bro. Like, like Nick said, I'm over here sweaty. Me too, bro. My hands, my hands are sweaty, bro. Yo, where? I thought that. I thought that shit broke too, bro. The way he said, <laughs> he said I thought that shit broke, dude. That sounded bad. <laughs> Oh, cap over here. God damn. <laughs> All right, guys. It, you know, sometimes sometimes shit works, sometimes shit don't work. Sometimes it be and sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> that's how it is, bro. <laughs> sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. <laughs> oh, Holy shit. shit. All right. So this is what the peg looks like. All right, time to we're 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 already in here for an hour. Let's 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 start let's start doing this shit, bro. Let's start fucking with the toys. Come on, we we talk shit already. Yeah, uh, y'all can go let everybody know we're shit talkers here, right, deep? Yeah, man. <laughs> but I was gonna say before I I did that shit, bro. It would be a toy photographer to get excited for the base. You know the size of this shit. I got a mini dial, bro. I'm not gonna display him in this. This shit. Yeah, speaking, yo, speaking of toy for uh, toy photography, I feel like so many people like. I feel like toy. To, uh, I'm over here getting my words twisted and shit. Toy you photography good, yeah. should get the same amount of love that hand photos and tabletop photos get, bro. Because the time getting put into a shot and the work getting put into a shot. You know, that's that's not no easy thing to do, bro. Like, man, I, I didn't want to be like that guy. But like you said, I personally think, if it's just my opinion, if you guys don't like this shit, if you're a hand poser, Deep is a hand poser here, man. And he's he does both. So, you know, he, 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 he understands both, you know, elements of it. I think... You know, full setup, you know, toy photography takes longer. It's more, it, it takes more effort. And, and I, and it's not about being lazy. I understand that, but it, it's just what it, it is, what it is. In my opinion, it is a more, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A more kind of 
uh, involved setup rather than hand posing. You know what I mean, Deep? Or am I sounding crazy? Like, what you mean? Like, like so it's and, more, oh, hmm. like it's more advanced to do. No, like, it's not that it's, I'm not saying that it's better. I'm saying it's more like it takes more effort. You know, more yeah, work. Yes, of course, of course. Yeah, ex that's what I'm saying. It's not crazy to think that. That's just my opinion. And I think that inherently doesn't make it better, but it makes it a little more kind of like, oh, kind of like, okay, this guy put a little more work into it type of thing, you know? Yeah. But I don't know. I feel, like, mm -hmm. I feel like on, um, I feel like people just, even even with anything, bro, tabletop, hand, hand, hand poses, toy photography, I feel like people should be consistent. Unless you already have a good following, I feel like people should be consistent. And, like, you know how you got that voice, like, in the back of your head, like, damn, I'll just do this shit tomorrow. That's the time mm -hmm. when you should, that's the time when you should do something. Like, oh, I'll do it later. That's when you should take that that's when you should put the shit together and take that picture because that might be the one you know what i mean oh yeah definitely dude and i, I wanted to talk to you oh fuck i'm so scared of this shit. i'm gonna take this shit off first uh i wanted to talk to you about that too first like what because we all go through this right as toy photographers you know in the chat you know, with us you know in the comments you guys leave your comments too because this happened to me recently, bro. I was doing a gut setup talking about that fucking horrible figure. I was trying to shoot it because I love that <laughs> that IP, bro. And it got so bad that I couldn't figure out the angle. I even sent you pics uh, deep, remember? Like, I don't like yeah. this. I don't like this shit. Oh. Sometimes you just have to take a step back and kind of re repose or like kind of re come around to it. Because it's happened to me multiple times where I kind of have to take a walk, I call it. Take a fucking walk, bro. Go take a fucking walk. Take a walk. You come back around to it and the shot gets it, you know, that you get the shot you wanted. Like, what is your method when shit like that happens where you're just not getting a shot and you're just like, fuck, dude, like you're getting, you know, frustrated. You're just kind of like done. You're like, fuck this, you know? Yeah. That's like, like what? Or, that's like, um, the best photography picture I, that's on my page right now, bro. And like, well, for me, to me, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Which is which is the um which is the armor guts by Figma. That the one I like I love that picture so much because that picture was the most frustrating picture to me, bro. I had a I turned off all my lights and I did. Like when I was first starting it to take the picture, I got so frustrated with it, I turned off everything and I went to my room, I watched a little bit of like Netflix or something. And then I got, I came back and then I fixed a few things around, I, like the fire and the lights and all that shit. And that shit came out exactly how I wanted it to come out. But it just took me that little, that little breather, like, because I was getting mad frustrated with that damn picture, bro. I think that was my, that's, that's my most frustrating and best picture, bro. <laughs> and and you say. I don't think I, I don't know. That shit's harder for me to, from, to my satisfaction, that's harder to be. So I guess the question is like, what of that? Like, what did you do? Because to me, bro, like I said, I usually have to take a walk. I don't know if people kind of just like power through it and they're just like, fuck, I have to get this shot today because it's the only time I got. Or like, because like, so for you, you left the like the setup and you came back to it type of shit. Is that what you said? Yeah, I went to watch like Netflix watched, and shit. Yeah, I watched like a maybe a series or a movie. I don't know. It was a while back, and then I came back to it because I was like, "All right, this this whatever is boring." So let me get back to the photography, and then that's when I switched there. I switched everything up and I took the picture, and then it came out how how it came out yeah and it's like it's because i feel like a lot of people like who are starting off in photography and shit they get frustrated and they're just like and it's normal bro like 
when I think when I was first starting off like 10 years ago and shit, I was like 15, 16 when I was getting into toy photography, I would see people do some badass shots, bro. Like some great shots, great lighting. And I would get fucking frustrated that my shit looked like, like I took that shit with like a Nokia. And I was like, <laughs> it's like, I would get frustrated, man. And like a lot of people, I feel that they try to get into toy photography and they don't feel the love right away. And they just mm -hmm. fucking drop out. They're just like, fuck it. I don't, this shit is not for me. And I think that's the worst thing you can do. Because yeah. in my case, I'm not saying I'm the best. I'm not saying I'm great either. You know, I take my shots and I think they're decent. They're good. And I think that's what, what took for me was just going at it, going at it, going at it and taking the hits to the chin. People would criticize my shit. I, I love being criticized. I say that shit on my Dynamic Saturday episodes all the time. Criticize my shit because that's the only way I get better. But some people don't like that, right? Don't be a dick either, you know? Yeah. Give me I a second. Like, <clears throat> I feel like when it comes to the crit like the criticism, I feel like you got to get criticized by the right person. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because if you're getting criticized, I don't know. I'd rather like, like, um, I'd rather a person a little bit, I'll, yeah, of course, like somebody on my level, yeah, the criticism would be cool, but I would like somebody who's at least a step, like, a uh, at least a level higher, tell me like, all right, this is where you fucking up at, this is where you fucking up at, this is where you're going wrong right here, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather have somebody like that tell me what's up other than somebody that would that's on my same level like that's why I feel like I can't tell nobody shit really maybe on lighting maybe I could help I, I could give advice on lighting but sometimes my my form of lighting doesn't work well for like um how you how you call it um like say um the, the comic book art type of photos yeah you know what i mean yeah it'll, it'll work to a certain extent but i don't think it will always work well yeah i, I see what you mean like to wait before we we do this shit, do you guys hear like any feedback or anything in the chat do you guys hear feedback or you guys hear an echo because my my shit was tripping out a little bit wait, Are we good? do you can you hear me yeah okay do you, do you hear an echo or anything like that or like a feedback like a little sound anything like that Hold up. <laughs> no, okay, no. All right, cool. Chat, let me know. But um, like I was saying, you know, dude, you're hundred percent right. Look, in the wise words, like there is one thing fucking Eminem says all the time. Yeah, I may not take me serious because I fucking love I love Eminem, Eminem, bro. But one of his raps, Sorry, my mama. boy says, <laughs> my boy says, if you're gonna critique me, you better be as good or better. And mm -hmm. that shit, I felt that shit. You better be as good or better, right? And I get it. And I'm not saying people who don't do toy photography shouldn't criticize because, you know, some people should be able to criticize no matter what, but it's up to the artist to take that critique, right? Yeah. So I guess at the end of the day, we we decide what critique we want to take. But some people just take a little bit of critique and they, they like just bow their head and they're like, no, dude, this shit is not for me. Sometimes you... You got to try, man. You got to, you know, it, it's part of the game, man. If you're going to do art, that means it's open to criticism. And that's just what it is. And But, you're, but you also got people that, like, you know what I'm saying? You give them the criticism to help, but they don't care about that criticism. They don't want to hear it because they always going to do the shit the way, the way they want to do it. You know what I'm saying? You also got people like that, too. Oh, yeah, 100%. There's people who... and. Don't get me wrong, man. And and like I'm not trying like I keep saying that shit. A lot. I'm not trying to be a dick, but it's just me being honest. You know, just talking to you, talking to the chat. There's a lot of in Instagram where people get hyped up a little, a lot, for stuff that's just in my opinion. And I'm not singling anybody. I'm just saying shit. I see shit that is lazy, bro. In my opinion, like people think that putting a figure in front of a, of a, you know, of a setup and just taking a picture of it. And then people in the comments will just be like, oh, my God, it's so good. It's so great. It's hey, maybe they do think it's great and it's good. But in this echo chamber that is Instagram, how are you going to get better? If your goal is if your goal is just to show off the figure just because you're having fun with the hobby and you don't care about getting better in your photography, hey, 
kudos to you, you know, power to you, you do your thing. But if you're really trying to be a, you know, a better artist and trying to like, you know, just move up there and get on that level, an echo chamber is not going to help you. And there's a lot of echo chamber in Instagram. Am I tripping? Like, oh, like when it comes to like people be like, oh, that is, oh, fire, 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 fire. Yeah, fire. yeah. And I'm not saying it's <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Like you can support your bros and everything, man. But like, like it when everything, everything is fire, when everything is fire, is there room for improvement? Are you telling, are you telling me that I'm the best in the world? You know, like it, there's, <laughs> there has to be a little competitiveness to it, you know? Like, yeah, I'm all about to be on the best in the world. I want to be. <laughs> Fucking play the, the Funk of Our theme song and shit. So let, let me get on the chat real quick and say it like so. Bro, this shit could be a worm, here. bro. So Will Flo says here he, that he leaves the setup and he comes back the next day. Yep, that's a good that's a good format. That's that's a good set. That's what I usually do sometimes too. I uh, man, I have to wait till night to take shots and shit because I have too many windows in the room. Yeah, me too. I gotta wait until the darkness. So Cap here says, I agree that display pics should get more love, but unfortunately that always my bad guys are figures on the way. Always gonna be a problem. But what we do is to is do is make toys look real. That's always gonna be a barrier. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, like <clears throat> I'm one of those display like like um somebody told me one time uh they like they like my museum photos because I be looking like I take pictures as if I'm I'm displaying the figure or some shit. So I'm like one of those people that that does the display photo type shit. Uh, I got oh we got dude from Dog uh, Dagobah on, on how do you pronounce that Dagobah Dagobah on um on Instagram right here. Appreciate you for checking in, bro. And then we got, let's see what else we got. Yeah, he's, he says, uh, yeah, I feel like the fire emoji being overused. I'm guilty, no cap. Yep, like we all are, man. We all are, because we want to hyper boys up, right, Deep? Like we all do it. We all yeah. do it. Because the last thing you need is for your boy to be like, hey, yo, your, your pick is crap, bro. Like that's you, that's not how you, you know, approach shit. Mm. And, and I think you just have to find kind of the right way. But there is definitely a lot of echo chamber on IG, bro. And it's just kind of like, like, I don't know, man. Call me like crazy or whatever. But I, I want to like be improving at all times, right? Like that's kind of the idea that I want to be. So I guess I need to be told when my, when my shit don't look crispy, you know? Look at that shit. Ooh, the spader's beautiful, boys. I love this thing. What can I say? This shit is mad nice. Oof. All right. Um. Yeah, dude. I I don't know. It's just it's a lot of shit I think about, and I like I like you know I'm I'm asking all these questions. So even in the comments, I want people to tell me, like what what's your opinion on all this stuff, man? Because it's shit I feel like people don't talk about. Like because everybody wants to be, and there's nothing wrong with being friendly in the community, man. Like yes, be friendly. Like that's cool. Like, but also like. Like, be honest and just, you know, I would rather take honesty than somebody just hyping up everything. If I was to, you know, right now set this picture and take a picture of this Vader in front of this screen with the live chat going on, and I and I would be like, oh, like, look at this shit. And people would hype me up. I would know, like, it's a bunch of crap because that shit don't look good, you know? Yeah. And I don't know. So the, the whole thing is, it's interesting to see. That, uh, Wait, hold on. Like, what the fuck am I looking at? Him? Well, what's up? Is that still his? That's the top of his head. Yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad. So, oh, oh shit, that shit looked like a coat. What else? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. So look, dude. The cape looks feels mad nice, man. This shit's nice and heavy. It flows nice. The only thing I kind of wish it had, and I'm here being picky because you know it's a hot toys. I kind of wish it was a fucking um, uh, what do you call it? a wired cape? And even has the slash look. Holy shit! You remember like that scene yeah, where yeah, fucking yeah. Kenobi just slashes the shit out of him in the back? So yeah, yeah that is shit to say. So let me let me start messing with these things right here, <laughs> bro. Why the look? look at this turtle right here, bro? He's like, he's like what? Motherfucker, you something? Yeah, my boy, my boy is like fucking squaring up. Oh, he's like what? 
He's flexing, bro. My boy flexing. He heard some. He heard some fucked up shit in the background. Like, what? You know what? That that one looks like. He looks like the cat that's like the fucking. He's like, the hell going on over there? (laughs) (laughs) All right, here you go, guys. So another little idea that I could like this shit would be nice. Six inch. So this is my photographer mime at play, bro. This is gonna be all six used for six inch figures. I'm not gonna put this dude on any basis. This shit. All oh, gonna go for the six inch. I got a bunch of new dials, boys. Let's see. So there are more. He's like, real friends tell you when you can do better. Without room up for improvement, this hobby would be boring. Yeah, exactly, man. I was. I, he nailed it, bro. This life would be boring if we all had the same opinions. We all thought the same. If we were all an echo chamber, this shit would be boring. There would be no, you know, there would be no fucking opposing teams. There would be no like sports. If we all went for the same fucking team, we would all like the same rapper. What would be the fun in it? You know? Yeah, but at the same time, like, I agree with that, but. I feel like if you're going to tell your homies that, it's better to do it like behind the scenes type shit. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Don't, don't, you know don't fucking, don't, don't go on the comments, start talking shit. You know, like, unless, unless they go on fucking, unless they go on fucking insane, then you gotta like, yo, yo, chill, yeah. Chill out, bro. Hey, if I ever start saying some out of pocket shit deep, I expect you to go in my <laughs> comments and fucking roast me, bro. <laughs> But you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like well what makes us if if we all had the same opinion then oh, wait wait I don't <laughs> I was gonna fuck up on what I was gonna say. Like if we all had the same opinions about things then where's our like how how we become individuals if we all think the same thing? Like we supposed to be individuals at, at some point, right? We're all supposed to like our own, like our own, own shit. Our own people. We're supposed to be ourselves. Bro, I don't know how the fuck I took this shit out the pack. What are you trying to open? No, nah, I'm trying to put this turtle back in the pack. I don't even know how the fuck I put them. I took them out. Damn, oh, I don't know what hand I want. So all the hands are like, like full gloves. Oh. So it looks yeah. like they're not, they don't have any like wrist swivel or anything like that, which is cool, which is cool. They give you enough, but I don't know. It would have been cool if they would have made this also like some type of pleather. But then again, if you're moving it too much, you might fuck it up. I don't know. It's my first hot. So I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, boys, but here we are. This hand looks pretty dope. So we're going to try switching out a hand. So like, Captain. Oh, so you you let your friends critique it before you you post it, or like oh while you during like during, so you could change up things while while you taking a picture and stuff. So you say yeah, I get critique and advice from friends while I'm shooting the pic. Yep, that's cool too. Like I do like I like I just told you, bro. I sent that shit straight to you deep, didn't I? Before I posted yeah. that shit, and I was like, yo, what you think? You know. And I was like, is it, you know, this, this is me being honest, guys. It's just me talking, you know? I was like, is this ass? <laughs> right, Dave? I was like, is this ass, bro? <laughs> yeah. But I don't like, I don't like being like, yeah, that's ass. I just be like, switch up this and switch up that. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. Like, try this. Try... And that's cool. That's like, that's the diplomatic way to go about it. And that's cool, bro. That's like, that's how you should be, you know? Because, you know, we're always going to be our own worst critic type of shit. That's just the truth. And like, so guys, um, I put the hand on this guy. Yo, that pistol looks sick. That's the that's the samurai kind of mode for him. Yeah, but I'm trying to get it like how he how he was holding it in the fucking promo picture. So. I don't know. Is that hand? I don't know if Nick's still here, but you know, if he watches the replay, yo, Nick, is that the hand all the way in, bro? Or anybody who owns a, a Hot Toys, is that hand all the way in? I don't know, man. I'm trying to push it, but it's kind of folding the cloth there. But 
see. Still gonna mess with it a little more. So my me personally, the way I like Vader is the version of Vader that has like the cape tucked under his helmet. That's just the the version that I think looks the most badass. That's probably how I have mine displayed, man, with the tucked in kind of like tucked in um kind of like cape and shit. I just think that should look, I don't know if you can see it on this camera, but that should just I liked it. I, I'm working on it, probably fix it off camera, but I want to tuck tuck his cape into his helmet. I think that would be the best look for it. What are you saying right there? What's up? It says you guys got any particular lights that you swear by. It says you guys got any particular lights, particular lights that you swear by. So like lights that are just like my go-tos that I'm just like, I can't take a shot without this light. Is that what you mean? Shit, this ring light I'm using right here is my, like if you look at all my pictures with a black background, that's, this is the ring light I, I always use. If he's oh yeah right here he got the answer he says uh yeah go to lights okay yeah I got I got go to lights so I guess the uh deep was saying his is the the it's like a ring light right deep that you like yeah yeah he he likes doing the ring light I have two what they call I think they're called key lights like I've said always in my videos man I'm not fucking I'm not a professional photographer I don't remember the names of this shit but I think they're key lights and those are two lights that I always shoot because those lights, I put them in the back corners and I just kind of shoot. So you see how my desk is here? Like it's like this. So this is the center, usually where I have my figure and I have the lights kind of, oh shit, sorry, I hit the camera. I have the lights coming from the back forward like this. So they kind of do this triangle shape to kind of give it like rim lighting. So those are the lights I really like. I use this light also a lot. It's like a little like bar light that helps me like kind of like shine the face of the, of the character that i'm doing that's the one that's doing the most work so you can see the face of the character and yeah pretty much those are like the three lights that i always use always 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 um, so here. oh and i also use i use i use these oh uh, not damn what's the name of those cube lights not the ones oh you no nah. it's lytra lytra or something like that Mm -hmm. okay. I use those those lights. I use them for like, like my Giver pictures where I have like three different colors hidden in the body and stuff like that. Okay. And I think, um, damn, I forgot the name of the brand that makes my my rectangular light. It's, it's about like the size of a iPhone. I forgot the name of that. I also use that too. For okay like, for like if i want to if i want like like a, a certain light like it's coming from the side or like a sunlight is hitting from a from a side view you know what i'm saying yeah yeah that's also a light that i use is that rbg rbg light oh the or, the the one that changes color and shit yeah is, am I saying the, the uh, name? Uh, no, you're right. It, I think they are called fuck. Uh, correct. RG, uh, if someone, RGB. RGB. It, yeah, RGB. It's RGB. You're right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, I don't remember that shit. I'm just. I just know it's the light that changes colors. That's what I know. So yeah, that's what I'm like. <laughs> yeah, that has LEDs letters. and it changes colors and shit. Now I'm gonna do some bootleg ass stuff, and I'm gonna try. I don't even know. Should I try to like fix the battery right now to try to light up the lightsaber? I don't know if I'm gonna go through all that on camera. That might be a nightmare. I'm gonna put this lightsaber to the side. Now, Deep, how are you liking the the Donatello? What are your first impressions, bro? Just flat out. I mean, it's no different from Leonardo. Um, I wish. I guess like. Uh. There's nothing crazy, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There's nothing crazy to be excited about, but I guess like artistic, like the art on it, the way it looks is amazing. Um, the articulation, uh, it's not my, it's not my favorite type of articulation, but it's good for what it is, I guess. 
What? Why is that? Like, what? What's What's the issue with the articulation? All right, like, like the thigh swivel. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit! I feel like the the thigh. Did they like? Did they just do? Is it thigh swivel just not good, or what's the issue with it? Let me see. Wait, hold on, let me take this thing off before I break this shit. I might need a little I, bit of light real quick. I've been having a bad. See, it's not that much. It's it's cool, but I feel like if we go all the way, it'll pop out. Uh, so, I oh, I see like, what it is. It's like that built-in like thigh swivel, right? Like kind of like. All right, that's some good rockers in the, in the fucking ankle there. Look at Chad, that. hey, let me know if. Oh my bad, deep. I was gonna say, uh, Chad, let me know if you guys hear an echo. Like that shit is bothering the shit out of me. But if it's not bothering any of you, then fuck it. I don't care about it. I mean, I don't know. I, I really the articulation really doesn't excite me that much. Like, um, what's his? How do you say his name? Donnie. Dog. I want to say more. Like, <laughs> how you say the first name, bro? For who? Oh, da, 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 Darog. I guess it's Darog. Yeah, Darog. Darog. Maybe I'm in pronouncing. He can he can correct us if we're mispronouncing that shit. Like he said about the double joint. Apologies. Double, I feel like uh -huh. I feel like they should have they should have also put that there too. I agree with that. Maybe a little thigh, um bicep swivel, or like a. Like a either an ankle, like a boot swivel too. I don't know, but I guess for the size, it wouldn't work. I don't know. I feel like they could have did more. But wait, uh, correct? Did you, you already say it? Ah, oh, shit! You're cutting off a little There's bit so deep. Off, you're still there? Okay, Are you good? No. You good? Oh, yeah, you're back. You're back. Um, I was gonna ask you. Um, the I don't know if you answered it. Like, is it thigh swivel? The built in thigh swivel, kind of like um, kind of like how Figma does it, where the like, like the twist. Like, it's not a cut, but it's like built inside. Yeah. It's a ball joint. It's a ball joint. So, so it oh, that's like. like you know, you know how make you know how make fix the ball joint, but it also has that piece on the side swivels too. You're yeah. breaking up, but I, I see I, I see what you mean. Yeah, you're breaking I mean, up right now, but I see yeah. I think it's the the you sound I think you're good now. You're good. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. You're good. Yeah, I see what you mean. So, yeah, it's like that old. Is it like the old school Marvel Legends, bro, with the ball and like the hint, like the ball hint and the swivel? Mm, no, no, no. These. Oh, uh, I was about to Wait, say that's like some old ass shit. See, look. You see it? Oh, yeah, yeah I see it. See it. Oh, okay. It's a ball. Okay, it's a okay. I see what you mean. It's a ball. Just a of oh, just a ball in itself. Yeah, that's all right. It's not super bad, but it's it could be better, definitely. But I ain't gonna lie though. They went ham with the fucking with this swivel right here though. Yeah, that shit looks sick. But look at that. You you can you can even see the design under the shell too. Oh shit! Uh, like if you want to throw a kick like that, do <laughs> you? This is dope. Are you are you are you gonna complete the set? I'm gonna try to make Michael. Damn. You you sounded like a you like a robot again. It's all good. Sound like a robot? Yeah, you're 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 cutting up pretty bad. You wanna you wanna uh you wanna see if you I think you're good. Hold on, let me see. Let me see this. My, uh, I don't know why, like, because my wife, for some reason, this area of my house doesn't pick doesn't pick up on my Wi-Fi, bro. Now you're good. Your 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 dude, your camera is looking better than mine now. 
All right, let's see. It says Derek, Derek, let us know if you're saying that shit wrong, bro. Like, my, I have an accent, so. It says, Derek Moore, I've mostly been using Yulancy, and then I got the ring a ring light. Okay, yeah, dude, I'm, I like Yulancy. Yulancy's pretty good. Sometimes they have some cheap stuff, but mostly they're, they're pretty good. And um, I might start using a ring light now. I got a ring light just recently for this stream. So I might start using that to shoot, see how it goes. Bro, you have a, like... When it comes to toy photography from people in the in the community, do you ever see mm -hmm. some somebody who like I hate when I see like a over filtered picture, bro? Oh, and bro! Like, and and I'd be like, damn! I bet if he didn't add so much filters, that picture would look way better without the filters. <laughs> You want to go down that? You want to go down that road, bro? We're gonna piss some people off. I'll go down with you because I have some pretty strong, some pretty strong <laughs> shit to say. <laughs> look, I just feel like some pictures would look better without the filter, bro. Yeah. Bro, you're a hundred percent right. You know, like I just think, look, my biggest that I don't personally don't like. This is my opinion, guys. Again, if you fuck, if you don't like that shit, hey. You guys can go ahead and step out. But I think when people over, um, what is the word? Like when it's so like, um, I forgot what the word is. Like it's grainy, grainy. I hate the grainy ass pictures. Guys, guys, if you're watching this, do not make your picture grainy. You think it looks cool. You think it looks awesome. I get it. It's cool to mess around with like filters and shit. But that thing. I'm sure that if you were to leave that grainy filter out, your picture would look a million times better. I like that over, you know what I'm talking about, Deep. That's what you're talking about, right? Like the super grainy or when they, I think it's, uh, I forgot what the other word is, when they like, I think it's the contrast, when the contrast is like crazy different and shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. Guys. But because I feel like, to me, I feel like you really, you really don't need filters, bro. If you play, I feel like the one thing you should do, like let's say if you're taking a simple picture, like how I do with like a display picture, like you see how I, I have him, but then, uh, damn, I forgot I got the wire coming this way. Oh, that would be trip. <laughs> but look, uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. Damn, I don't know if it's going to look that good on here. Yeah, we, we can see. We can see. You're good. But, so, like, see, this is the light. Oh, shit. Let me see. But you see how, you see how the difference is? See, you can see him more, and then it, it gives him, like, a shade. Mm hmm When, you, when the, the ring light is behind him, then from what it is in front. Yeah. Like, People should play with, let their lights be the filter. Like, that's what basically what I'm trying to say. Let your lights be your filter. If you're going to do a simple picture, let your lights be your filter. Because that's you're what I, do. I let my lights be my filter. You're 100% right. Like, I feel that people, even if you don't own a camera, right? Even if you're doing it with your phone. Like you said, let your lights do the heavy lifting. Let your camera do the heavy lifting. Because when you solely rely on filters or like you know editing it kills your 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 picture man it really just does because the the thing is when you have a picture and the camera is doing the heavy lifting the the editing is just there to kind of um be accents i guess is the word is the word correct accents like just to like pop your picture it's not meant to make your picture that's just my opinion like don't get me wrong dude because i edit my stuff sometimes too i don't super edit it what i do as what i call color correction right because i have my cameras like um saturation all the way up everything because i like my pictures and you guys have told me before like everybody has messaged me like oh your your colors are so like bright and pop and they're awesome i was like yeah i used to be like super against photoshop like no no photoshop never ever whatever you know but then i came around with color correction and i do that i color correct but the way i do it is i don't overdo it i just kind of like it's just really simple just over you know mess with the color make sure it's like a lot of stuff that's like maybe oversaturated i can bring it down so it looks like you know you can see more definition in it stuff like that i never let photoshop do all my heavy lifting because all the lighting all the lights the brightness everything you see on the it's all the camera 
It's yeah. just the colors that sometimes I need to tone down so I can get that right, that just that right saturation amount that I like personally. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. But some people so just kind of, so it kind of mm -hmm. corrects like certain colors in your, in your thing or it corrects everything. No. Fit, so like to fit together. So the way kind of like I work is that I kind of make it to where like, cause I have my, my, my camera just oversaturated. Yeah. What I, what it does is I bring the saturation just a little, so I kind of just mess with the saturation of it, bring it a little yeah. down so I can still, cause you know how I use a lot of like background, um, like background sets for like through my computer. So my computer is naturally giving out light and that also saturates the picture. So when I, yeah. the whole thing is to try to make the background a little more visible but all the heavy work, like the lighting, the posing, all that stuff, all comes through the camera. Like, you know, like it's just really minor stuff that gets done post-production, I guess you could call it. And people just, but some people just rely on it, man. And like, like it's cool. Some Photoshop is really great if you know how to do it. But like for the most part, people really rely on just kind of like throwing a bunch of filters and like fucking pumping it to like 200 and just hoping that makes their... their 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 stuff look better you know it's not gonna make it look better if anything it's kind of like taking away from your actual art like the work you put into it you know to make it look good yeah that's just my opinion <laughs> my whole camera almost came down on me <laughs> oh, almost shit. slapped me in my face <laughs> nah you good you good you i don't i don't know i don't i don't know if the if what the chat thinks about like Photoshop and stuff like that, I think it's cool to a certain extent, right? Don't make it, don't make your whole thing be the Photoshop. Have the picture do the heavy lifting, obviously, right? That's what we want. At least that's what I would want. But um, yeah, like getting back to this fig, bro. So I think the figure, I feel like the 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 shoulder joint is stuck, dude. I don't know why it feels like super like I'm forcing it when I want to push it forward. I'm kind of scared to push it forward, but dude, the texture on this thing, like, I don't know if you guys can see, but like the pleather on here, the texture, everything looks crazy. Now, don't get me wrong. He does feel a little, I don't know, what's the word? Like, it does feel a little fragile compared to other figures, but then again, it's a hot toy. It's like, I'm not going to be putting this dude in some crazy ass poses either, you know? Yeah. You're going to try to just like, get him in there, like, regular poses yeah okay i think that's how much i can get the arm to go up for now on camera i'm kind of scared to fuck with it too much you seen that yeah let me see you think you think, think that you think that that that, that pleather or the leather will will have a, a good amount of time that's the thing. So I've been, you know, I did a little bit of my research about Hot Toys before I bought this thing. Apparently Hot Toys recently has been kind of like slacking off on the pleather. And yeah. It doesn't last as long from what people tell me. But I don't know, man. This thing is just a grail to me and I had to have it. And eventually, you know, it just makes sense as a company. They don't want their figures to last forever because you wouldn't be buying other baiters if it did, you know. So yeah. I guess... Um, I, at least I'm hoping it lasts me a few years. I'm not expecting 20 years, maybe five to eight years if I'm pushing it. But uh, the idea is to probably get more hot toys. And uh, I guess, uh, you know, Nick told me a while ago that as soon as I get my first hot toy, this shit is going to, like, open the floodgates. I don't know how I'm feeling about it right now on live, you know, like I'm just a little more nervous about it. Maybe when I get off camera and mess around with him a little more, I'll have a little bit more fun. But so far, man, as just like a standing piece. This thing looks great. Just like, look at him, dude, like the posing, the lightsaber. I can't wait to get him like on like light up, a light up base. See how that looks. So he, like, what's, is that like, can he do like any action poses? Like if he was blocking another leg, like say, like <laughs> I think so. Let's let me try to get some. Shit. Can he do some like kung fu poses? And shit? I don't think he can do. Nah, you gotta be fucked. Up. I ain't doing no <laughs> kung fu poses, deep. <laughs> Hell nah, bro. But let me see. I'm trying to mess with him right now. I forget that I have this camera here. You guys can see too. So I kind of want to show everything to the top camera, but so I think. 
I mean, the helmet is a little restrictive, but I think he can do a pretty good, like, blocking pose, I guess. Like, for now, that's not too bad. Um, but if you notice, like, when I get extra figures and I do the hand poses, I'll be trying to get everybody into a kung fu pose and shit. Dude, hey, but that shit works, though, bro, because you're, that shit, I'm telling you, bro, your posing is always on point. That shit's always sick, bro. Like, that shit rocks. Let's see. I got Cap Lip right here. He says, I just color correct sometimes. I'll mess with the grain if I want the old film real look, like with my Indiana Jones picks. Okay, that's fine because it's part of like the the lore, right? Like uh, Indiana, he's yeah, supposed to be during like World War II, you know, it makes sense. But some people be like throwing their grain on everything, right, Deep? Like on everything they do, mm-hmm. everything they Too do. Much. And I'm just, that's just Too when, much. like, bro. Oh no, <gasps> I just dropped the whole fucking hand, bro. Oh god, the pray for me, hand? guys. I dropped the hand, like that shit wasn't pegged in correctly, and it dropped the lights. Oh shit, that shit's gone forever, bro. <laughs> bro, hold on, me. I'll jump off the other camera, but this one will stay on. Give me a sec. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that shit. <laughs> that shit gone forever, dog. That oh, shit no. went into the void of the ground. I hate, I hate when I drop like little pieces and they go into the fucking void, bro. And then, and then a few days later, I step on it and just fucking stabs me in my fucking foot. Okay, so I'm like inspecting. I think it looks fine, but the, the hand just won't peg in, man. I don't know why. Having issues with that. Maybe I'll get it off camera and try to fix it. Let's look into the other hands, man. I've been over here sitting and just like talking and shit. We're here for the figures, guys. Fucking get in the chat and tell me to shut the hell up and you know show you the figure, man. That's what we're here for. So. <laughs> That's the other hand right there. I already showed one of these. Let's get another one up here. Yo, you see this? It's right here. Yo, that's the that's the Glock pose, bro. What up, boy? What up, boy? <laughs> that's the that's the fucking where are you from, motherfucker? <laughs> hey, like that's see, like stopping the blast. I had to break these two apart for the for my for my rifle to fit in the hand, bro. Wait, wait, what? You oh, you cut you cut into it? No, I just snapped it apart. Oh shit! So the Damn, rifle, bro. So this so this part of the rifle could go in for some reason on on my hand it didn't want to go in. You guys here live, guys? He modified it. Hey, he claims <laughs> it. That's his. You better not take it, motherfuckers. I'm telling okay. you, that's his. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not a y'all could do it, man. Y'all can do it. I'll, I'll, no I'll credit, go bro. I'll go I'll go on the comments and start start some shit for my boy deep, you know. I'll be his knight in shining armor, bro. Apparently that's what people want. My boy did it first, right? <laughs> yeah, my boy did it first. What's up? Yo, we got a fist. This shit looks dude. Look at dude. Tell me that shit don't look like real leather, bro. Damn. That shit looks nice. Damn, bro, I'm excited. So, so that, so the the fist is already like that, or does it articulate? No, it's everything's like already pre-posed, which is it's all right. You know, like I said, I'm not gonna be like super posing this dude. That's why I got my SHF for. But this guy's just gonna be like, you know, in a single pose, you know, really menacing, kind of just like you know, throwing his fist up and shit, type like that. So he comes with a total of, I think, let's see, with the two hands, it's with one, two, four, five, six. I think it's like seven hands on top of the one, so eight in total. I can't count, guys. Let me see something. So he, the two he has, then we got two, four, so that's six, seven, eight, nine hands. I'm tripping. Nine hands, guys. I can't count. Dang. Uh, let me get the. I, I already showed you guys the original head sculpt, I think. Dude, this thing comes with a lot of cool shit, dude. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, the Reva lightsabers. I mean, I don't know if anybody cares about the Reva lightsabers, but I'll go ahead and show them off real quick. That's what they look like. People were complaining about this because they're like, oh, yo. Like, you're not really going to display them with this. What's up? Yo, my shit froze for a second. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You good, you good, you. Oh, another cool thing that he comes with, which I mean, it's cool, but he comes like with this slash effect, which is cool that they incorporated it. You know, now the fucking yeah. swishing. Oh fucking shit! Play. This shit. You know what? I'm dude. This I'm telling you, photographer of mine right here, bro. Optic blast for fucking Cyclops, a longer one. 
right here. Yeah. Yo, right, right. What, 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 what do you guys? Hey, that's my idea, boys. Don't take that shit. Hey, <laughs> I'll, I'll go in the comments and look for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit looks sick, right? Oh, that's crazy, bro. I'm kidding, guys. You guys don't take that shit serious. Don't fucking screen cap that just fucking part. I'm joke. It's a joke. Sure. What I used to say back in the day, still Rick's idea. Yeah, bro. Still Rick's idea. Still Rick's idea. Back at this shit. <laughs> still Rick's idea. But yeah, dude, this guy, this guy's really nice, man. Let, let's let's do. I mean, it's not a review, but let's let's see how articulation. So he's double jointed for sure, as you guys can see right here. Double join it right here. Elbow. He he has a pretty good range. Pretty good range. You guys can see pretty good range right there. Um, let's see how the knees go. Here we go, guys. So the oh, I'm so scared, man. This thing is tight. All right. Okay, that's as much as I get the fucking foot to go. I don't know if you guys are seeing it. That's as much as I'm getting the foot to go. Not the greatest. Okay, double join it. Double jointed elbow. Yo, I mean, sorry, uh, I knees. I don't know what the fuck. My, I don't know what the fuck my shit is going through, but my shit froze again and it came back. It sounded like you was. It sounded like you was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> bye, 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 bye. Maybe, maybe it's my sound, bro. Maybe I'm tripping. All right, let me put this guy down. Also, I got a fucking hobby, uh, uh, a package from HLJ, bro. Dude, those oh. dudes. I literally put ship. One day ago, I think I put mm-hmm. ship uh yesterday. No, no, sorry, yeah. uh the day before, and that shit got here yesterday. Like that was crazy. This dude's on the teleporter. This is the only one I've opened so far. But dude, this Mando, I don't care what you say about the black series. Yeah, maybe for the price it's good, but it got nothing on this Mando, bro. This bro, shit. I ain't gonna lie. That's why I love getting imports from import sites, bro. Cause they ship faster than what you would get in <laughs> in the U.S. You would get like if you order from a retail out here, you would get that shit in like probably a week. And then you order from you order from Ami Ami or some shit, and you will get that shit like the next day or two days later. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, it's it's insane. They, I'm telling you, bro, they own a teleporter. And they don't want to tell anybody. Yo, the, the soft goods on this figure, it's almost mm-hmm. like a sway, bro. It's such a big improvement from the original Mando. I just sold that shit like not too long ago. Took us, I was going to get this one. Bro, this thing is sway. It feels amazing. It's such a nice texture. And it comes with so much stuff. Like, I don't have it on me real quick, but like, it comes with like the spear. It has the, you know, the dark saver. Like the whistling birds, the fire effect. Like this thing is decked out. Like it is expensive, but for what all the shit that it comes with, a hundred percent worth it, bro. Bro, we're we're about to do a, a, a setup live. Watch this shit, guys. Live setup right here. Oh fuck, I don't know if I want to put my fader over here. Look at this shit, boys. You right, you guys see that shit? Look at that. Oof. Fucking dial right there, baby. Oh, don't fall. Perfect, right there, bro. A dial for your fucking six inch figures. They also gave, I don't know if you can see that, but look at this little ass motherfucker. It's so awesome, bro. Look at this guy. And he, dude, they articulated the arms. I'm not gonna hold you. The magnet for the hat kind of sucks. Oh, for real? That shit flies off. Damn. Hold on. Let me see. Look at this. Beautiful little Grogu. Articulated arms, articulated head. Love it. Damn. That's right, the little. What's up? You know, I'm, I always wanted to get the, those, but I'm like, damn, every time, every time I wanted to pick up a Mayfix Mando, then he always got a new weapon in the fucking shark. So I'm like, well, I'm gonna get this for him. He has the <laughs> yo, get I was this guy get the first one. And then, he, then he got the 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 lightsaber sword. Well, what's the name of that lightsaber? Uh, dark saber. Yeah, he got the dark saber. I'm like, fuck, yeah. he ain't gonna come with a dark saber, dude. And then he had the 
what he had the pole the what's the what's the name of the, the best card the, stick the, the, yeah the be, like spear the spear mm-hmm. yeah dude, like, the, bro, you gotta you gotta bring all this shit Fuck it. Dude, this one comes with all that shit. I'm telling you, like, I can't really reach the thing right now, but it comes with he he has his jetpack, he has his spear, he has his rifle, his pistol, the dark saber, like all the effects from his wrists. Um, mm-hmm. what else? His pistol is finally the right color. It's not pink, like the first one. The first one had a fucking pink plaster, bro. And then, uh, oh yeah, I remember that. And then what else? Like this dude just he's dude, I'm telling you, bro. My boy is packed. I didn't expect him to come with that much shit, but he did. And it was crazy. That shit looks it's it's a dude. I'm I might say it, bro, right here. You guys are gonna have it on the live. It might be like top ten of twenty twenty four for real. I got that dude in twenty twenty four, so I don't know if he even came out in twenty twenty four, but I shipped him twenty twenty four. And dude, he's top ten contender for sure. But people are saying that um I've been seeing people saying that that new that new one by Black Series is, is good too. I, I get it. I get Did like you get that one. I didn't get that one because I knew I was gonna get the Mayfix. Like I already had a pre-order. Yeah. And like I get it for the price that they're like paying. Like, yeah, it's cool, whatever. But I don't know, man. I just don't think Black Series has been <laughs> sorry about that, guys. My fucking dog just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> You letting you know somebody coming around. Yeah. Let me go. She might want to go out. So let me go ahead and take her out real quick. I'll put you, you go ahead and entertain the chat deep. I'm leaving it to you. <laughs> oh, shit. What's up, y'all? This is a reroll deep, you know. <laughs> nah, let me stop playing. Hold on. I'm trying to get it. Spilling it right over there, man. Oh, shit. You be flying out, though. Oh, uh, I think they put the magnet. Oh no, maybe that's not the magnet. And there you go, Master nice Splinter. Chilling. He got the fucking ooze. He got his, you know, his cane, his pimp cane. Got his scroll on his back. I wonder what. Um, I wonder what Shredder gonna look like if they do Shredder in this style. Who's in the chat right now? He said, I just cut the collection. <clears throat> Who's all here? Who's all here? Let me see. This go hard right here. Got the little grenades. Oh shit. Oh, yo, shit. yo, I'm back. She just needed to use the bathroom. Dude, she always scares me, bro. My dog is yeah. the loudest alarm we have, but she never catches anything. Not the lot of the Lord, bro. Dude, she be like tripping out about anything that's not like not even there. Shit like that. It's like, bro, you're not even, there's nothing there. <laughs> but yeah, like I got this little post for him right here. You guys could see. You know, he he he's cool. Like I said, man, it's a hot toys. I'm not expecting to get like crazy poses out of him and shit. Yeah. But I'm definitely just kind of like, you know, he's gonna be definitely a centerpiece for sure. I don't even know where I'm gonna put him, bro. I have no space. On my details, I might need to make a whole another like little section for them, cause this is definitely grail material. Like this thing is just mad nice, and yeah, man, like look at this piece right here. This thing is gonna be definitely a dope little display piece for like, you know, even for like six inch stuff, man. I'm, I've already got like ideas to use this thing with, and it's just gonna be mad nice. So yeah, man, that's just I don't think I missed anything from the baiter. Let me switch out his 
his head and see how he looks like with the other hands. Hope I doesn't pop this thing. Oh damn, boys, we're already at two hours. Damn. Oh shit. How you feeling deep? You you ready to call it or are you good? Or what do you want to do? It's whatever, bro. You're chilling. I think I think we had a good talk, bro. We you know we we talked about a few Let's anything see. else you want to like say before we like get off and shit? Like anything that you know anything in particular stuff like that. <clears throat> Um, shit. Let me see. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, don't go too crazy. If you missed out, there's always going to be a restock. You know, the opportunity always will come around and presents itself. So don't ever go crazy. Don't go to the black market for anything. Um, I mean, not the black market, though. Um, the aftermarket. The aftermarket, <laughs> yeah. But them turtles? Oh, hell no, nah, bro. Those turtles <laughs> are going crazy right now. The motherfuckers is a thousand, bro. Dude, they, I'm, sure, I'll, I'm sure there'll be a restock. You know, they, they ain't no way here. Bro, I, what, I, what I want them to do is a head pack, is a Hesco pack with all red bandanas, bro. Dude, that would be, that would. Nah, dude, don't say that. I still need to get them, bro. So we're gonna we're gonna do a whole new pack, all red bandanas, baby. <laughs> he, said, he said, don't say that. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> boys, look at this shit, bro. I think this might be. I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna workshop some poses, but this this might be the definitive pose. For now, look at that, boys. Shoo, fuck, man. Look at that shine on that helmet, bro. What do you think? What do you think, Deep? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, shit. This thing is... I need to work on a better camera setup. Bro, they sure. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Hot Toys be killing it, man. Dude, I've... I, I mean, it's pretty dark in my room right now and shit. You know, it's pretty dark in here, but I need to figure out to look at this boy with some great lighting. Bro, why we can't get shit like that in 112, bro? I mean, yeah, in 112. I don't I think that they don't think that people would pay up. I think that's like the big issue. Like I don't they don't think six I I, I mean, I don't know shit. Don't quote me, bro. I I don't know shit, but that's what I'm thinking. I don't I'm think people for like a official official come like bro, if third parties could make some dope ass figures um like um head head scopes and and soft goods if they can make good soft good quarterly hot soft goods and dope head scopes why would you know what i'm saying they they basically doing one six stuff and one twelve why why official companies can't do that excuse me i don't know i don't know what I mean, obviously, I think it has to do with price, like I said, bro. I think it has to do with, like, the whole idea of, like, you. oh, I, I think you mean, like, you're saying, like, like already, like, you're talking, like, a Mesco. Why can't Mesco be, like, a Hot Toys level type of thing? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, like, because if, if, if a third party could be on that type of level and give mm -hmm. us, give us, give us the figure for, look at, look at, um, what's his name? The Ink Boat figure, bro. Look at look at the amount of accessories and look how good that figure came out and it was way cheaper than what a mesco is. So. It was it, but it wasn't officially licensed, right? Yeah, it wasn't officially licensed. I That's think what I'm like why official license, why companies that got get official license can't go that hard, bro? Because it's not. I think it does. It's not um, convenient to them because look, at the end of the day. These third parties, they don't have to pay like the licensing. So their biggest competitor side is that they can take that money and throw it into the figure, right? Compared to like the other people. But then again, that's not an excuse because I think if it was official and it had like a great ass packaging and it was great quality, we would pay the higher prices. We don't care, right? Mm -hmm. At least I would. I would pay the higher prices. So I think that's the reasoning. It's not a good reasoning in my opinion, but that's the reasoning, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah, I don't, I don't see like, but because like, like Mayfix, like, 
like dude this soft goods are freaking great like i can't complain like these things are just like i and they got better they get, they've been getting better bro oh dude better with every release like this I don't know. Like, yeah, the articulation is eh, with the Mando. Like, uh, I'll get a little bit into that dynamic Saturday. But, yeah, the ab crunch, you know, the diaphragm joint is not great. But then I don't think it's that great on the Black Series either. So, I, I don't know. You know, so I guess it is what it is. But, yeah, I'll go ahead and get this guy a little more posing. You ready? Uh, you want to go ahead and plug yourself deep before we head out of here? You already get two hours. My name is Cerebro Deep. You can follow me at Cerebro Deep. Um, put together on Instagram, Cerebro Deep. Put together like all in one, all in one, and that's about it. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and link him, guys. Also in the description. Um, I think I already did. Might be wrong. I'll double check. But uh, yeah. Uh, that's been a dynamic live. This was a little more my first live. So our first, uh, our first live, you know, I was, you know, getting the hang of it, you know, the setup and everything pretty bootleggy. Um, I appreciate all of you guys that went in the chat and, you know, chatted it up. Uh, I'll get a little better with checking out the chat. If I'm being completely honest, I'm not the biggest fan of going live, but, you know, I think I've expressed that before, but I, I had fun, you know, it was fun. I had fun, you know, deep. We kicked it. We yeah, chilled. Yeah. I might, you know, might have a few announcements as far as it goes. I kind of want to run a little um, picture contest, so photography contest. So I might do a separate video for that. And we'll, you know, we'll set up the rules, you know, how to do it and all that good stuff. Or I'm, I want to set up a photography contest and I still need to give away something like I promised. And I kind of forgot about it on this damn thing, but it's okay. Uh, you know, it was the first live. We were just having fun, just chilling, you know, opening some figures. And like I said, I'm talking a lot again. I want to say I appreciate everybody who does the replay and, you know, comments and just whoever was in the chat. You know, everybody, I really appreciate you guys, you know, kind of dealing with me and just kind of the, the whole live thing. So thank you guys. We're about to head out. And that's it. Follow me on Instagram. Yeah, Twitter. And like Deep said, subscribe, baby. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, we are on out of here.